word uh, autism, there's so many misconceptions associated with the word, and we wanted to get out there and just really get rid of some of these misconceptions. Not, not, not everything about autism has to be gloom and doom. We know there's challenges and everything, and so that's one of the themes. The other theme is really acceptance. Um, so the film doesn't really focus on the whole cure, the whole vaccine issue. It's really a film that focuses on families living and dealing with autism on a daily basis. This film, what we really wanted to do is give these families that have autistic children um, a platform to share their story. Where when you watch it, you see a lot of the common things that they have, other things they have in common, things that, that are different, more about their lives. It's not always also just about the children, it's about them working together as a husband and wife. It's empowering to people that are watching this that know that, hey, I'm not alone, we're not alone. That there are other people out there that are dealing with, with what we're dealing with. Tell us a few things or a lot of things that you learned that you didn't know about autism going through the process of getting these stories and talking to these families and individuals. I learned particularly how big the autistic spectrum is. There, there, there are cases where people can, you know, eight, nine-year-olds, they can say five or six words. Um, and there are uh, cases where some people just have a slight social disorder and the spectrum is so big. And so what I learned is not everyone is like Rain Man. That's the big, I think, misconception. When you hear the word autism, again, it's almost in 2015 a gloom and doom word. You think of Rain Man, you think of someone dropping a box of toothpicks and there's 487 right there. It's not like that at all. And actually the gentleman Joe Sullivan that played Rain Man has a small part in our film just so we can show that 99.9% .9 of people with autism are not like that. What I can say that attracted, attracted me to this story, uh, this story was the stories, the people themselves. It wasn't like, I need to fight autism or something like that. It was, these people are incredible. And I, and I learned so much. And when someone can just be so genuine and authentic and just share it, when they're not trying to put on an act, there's no fakeness, it's that, that, that's what I found endearing and moving. We got Chandra Wilson from Grey's Anatomy as our narrator, and she's wonderful. And um, you wanna say something about Chandra? Yeah, Chandra, Chandra, yeah, Chandra's great. I met her a few years ago and we told her about this project. This project is about two and a half years in the making from concept to world premiere tonight. And uh, we showed kind of Chandra a little trailer that we did about two years ago and she really enjoyed that and wanted to do what she could do to help. And there's a small, just kind of a personal connection with some of her family um, as well. And so she wanted to be a part of this project and she's helping promote the film. And so we're, we're grateful to have a talent like her attached to our film. You have a calling to tackle these important issues. Your last documentary, Hunger in America, screened here as well. Your next one. Talk to me about how that came to be. Well, yeah, you know, you know, Tim and I uh, kind of have some similarities. We're both, he's a filmmaker, director, obviously, as well. And he made a film called My Run that I saw that aired in Nashville in 011. I was a big fan of that and kind of found him on Facebook because he, he does humanitarian documentaries like myself. And so we became the, came this producing team about three years ago. And he, he's becoming a producer of mine, and I'm producing some stuff that he's directing as well. But we had this kind of common theme that we want to make films that, that, that educate but that are also cinematic and emotional and when people leave the theater we hope that there's some sort of change and not just okay I learned something but we want our people to watch our films and be motivated and actually do something as well as just be educated. A film that we're right now doing is called uh, Iron Will, a veteran's battle with PTSD which Billy Bob Thornton is narrating which we're producing it now and hopefully maybe we'll screen here next year knock on wood. But um, yeah, that's a very powerful film and I have a connection, you know, because I have family members that, you know, lost their life because of that and uh, our director has PTSD. That's a film that we're very um, um, excited about but almost feel almost honored to do it because it was such a powerful thing. And then last year we did uh, Hunger in America. We won an Emmy. So I didn't tell, know that. We won an Emmy on that. Thank you. you said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Won a Mid-South Emmy for Best Topical Documentary in wow. January, so we're happy about that. And, getting the film out there. It's screening over 400 schools and colleges right now, so we hope to continue the momentum with that and just keep, yes. you know, getting our films out there. It's all about, as any you know, filmmakers, it's yeah. it's about having an audience and reaching your audience Absolutely. and now, getting your work out there. You have, uh, you're present on social media for people to find out more about the film. Mm -hmm. Will you tell us all about that? Tell our audience, too. All right, well, we have a website. It's called AutismInAmericaMovie.com, where you can, you, can, you can get on our Facebook page as well. If you want to email us, send us a message, we will get back to you right away. So feel free to share your story. Uh, we would love to talk to you. We're also available to do some private screenings and that kind of stuff. Zach's company is Skydive Films, and mine is Indiewood Pictures, so we're both online. Feel free to 
friend request us. You know what I mean? Yeah. We'll, we'll definitely chat with you. We'll accept you. All right. Zach Adams, Tim Van de Steeg, Autism in America, here on day two at the Twin Cities Film Fest. Thank you Thank so you. much for joining us. Thank you so Can't much. wait to Appreciate see it. it.